Hey fam, it's Tuesday. Get ready for the freshest news updates. First up, Senator Olu Tinobu is challenging Nigerian politicians to back their talk on gender equity with action. She's giving major kudos to the House for advancing the bill to secure 70 legislative seats for women. Yes, Queen, we'll see you. Here is the news you can't use. The Federal Capital Territory Police Command has nabbed Hashiru Baku, the mastermind behind Brigadier General Harold Udokwere's murder. He was caught trying to flee the country from Kanu, but a long arm of the law said, Not today, man. In a tense and bittersweet turn of events, five NYSC members kidnapped by gunmen along the Ifo Owo Highway in Ondo State have been freed after paying a hefty 5 million naira ransom. Tragically, the driver and a female passenger lost their lives in the ordeal. May the souls rest in peace. Now, Kenya is battling with a rising suicide epidemic, with seven cases reported just last weekend. The World Health Organization has highlighted joblessness, academic pressure, and financial struggles as key factors. This alarming trend underscores the urgent need for intervention. A catastrophic landslide has claimed at least 55 lives in Gofa Zone, South Ethiopia. The authorities are still recovering bodies, warning that the death toll could rise, urging everyone to stay clear of flood-prone areas. Our prayers are out to the victims and their families. On a brighter note, the Nigeria Olympic Committee has announced Toby Amuson as the flag bearer and Anu Luakwo Okweyori as the general team captain for the Paris 2024 Olympics. Go Team Niger! That's your scoop on the news you can use. Remember, the person who stays without speaking and the person who speaks too much both have flaws. Keep watching New Central TV.